Thank you, Mark. Well, if it doesn't affect you personally, then it is likely that it does or has affected someone you know and love well. Anxiety and depression are two of the most common mental illnesses in the United States, and women are twice as likely to be affected than men. Well, next month, a special one-day seminar on how to manage these two issues will take place at Lima Community Church. And here to talk about the issues of depression and anxiety and the upcoming seminar is licensed professional counselor, Carrie Taylor of Cornerstone of Hope Lima. Carrie. Thank you so much for being with Thanks us. Thanks for having me. Well, let's just jump right into these two big topics. Sure. Depression sure. and anxiety. Um, you just mentioned those, and there's a, probably a lot of people out there going, oh, yeah, I, I, I get it. Right. Both are very, very common. Um, re regardless of what you're dealing with in life, at some point you've probably felt some anxiety or even some depression about something. And it doesn't mean that it has to be necessarily even diagnosed as that, but you, we go through spurts of it. You know, anxiety can come as, you know, sometimes your heart starts racing or you start to feel really nervous around something or it's, it's um, a high stress level on what, what is set in front of you mm -hmm. and wondering, can I accomplish this? It's excessive worry about things. Uh, it, it shows up in a myriad of different ways, not being able to think clearly, not being able to concentrate. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just withdraw because you're so anxious that you don't know what else to do. So you just kind of cave in on yourself, which often looks like depression. Uh, and yes. so depression comes when there's just kind of a, a downward spiral inside of you of your thoughts, you know, where you're just kind of starting to on this negative trend inside, whether it's thoughts about yourself or about everything else, and just kind of starting to feel hopeless, like there's not a way out of this whirlwind that you're in. Um, and sometimes that can cause you to want to sleep more or sleep less, mm -hmm. to eat more, to eat less, and really anxiety and depression pair off of each other. Sometimes people get depressed because they're anxious, mm -hmm. and so they withdraw. And then sometimes people who have depression feel anxious about mm -hmm. their depression, and they're not sure how to handle it. So the two really go hand in hand, and, um, and really treatment for both of them is very, very similar. So studies are showing that these are prevalent in the United States. Oh my goodness, yes. And absolutely. they are more prevalent among women than they, they are, are among men. Yes, they are. That is, that is a typical, and I think some of the way they are displayed is a little bit more acceptable among women and so it may be shown that it's more mm. uh, although men do experience it but mm -hmm. sometimes in different ways you know one thing I'm noticing in this area especially is that among teenage girls this is high high in my office I just watch for trends among my clients and just have seen a trend among high school girls and women of this unbelievable anxiety. Um, a lot of it's performance based in schools for the teenagers and mm -hmm. um, they're in so many things that have to do with their performance. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and don't get a chance to just say who am I and how am I and how can I handle this and feel okay about myself and so yeah. So we recognize that there are definitely some issues um, right. and it's not the type of thing that you can just say snap out of it. That's right. That's right. But there are some solutions and you're offering mm -hmm. a one day opportunity to help gird these these young girls, these teenage girls and women mm -hmm. with some ideas on how to start walking through this. That's right, that's right. A lot of times there's such this um, hopeless feel or almost really a silence to our anxiety mm. or depression where we don't want to talk about it, we don't want to admit it to anybody else that it's there. And they feel like, what is? how do I get out of this? And there are really practical tools to do that and really God has equipped us um, with them. We just don't always realize that we have them. Mm. And so this workshop will be a really um, practical day where they're going to do some a lot of hands-on experiences, a lot of processing right there and then. They'll have things to take home with them. By the end of the day, they will have quite a few practical skills yeah. at their disposal. So the workshop is called Ladies Day of Hope, Managing Anxiety and Depression. It's a one-day workshop from 9 to 4, taking place at Lima Community Church, and it's for teen girls ages 15 and up mm -hmm. and for women. What is this day going to be like? Well, when, when you come in, you will be in a group. So each the women will be divided into smaller groups, and there will be a professional counselor that's leading each group. And I will do a little bit of intro at each session, and then they will break down into these groups and process that out and do their hands-on activities and really get into what's going on inside and how do we come against that. A lot of battling our thoughts because our mm. thoughts impact what we feel, which impact how we live. Mm. And if we can get a hold of those, and switch those around, then we, it changes how we how we live that out. So there'll be those things. Um, 
we'll do some hands-on activities of some calming activities that really um, help depression and anxiety because it's the thoughts that have to get calmed down mm. so that we can handle it in a more manageable way. So there'll be some hands-on things that they will actually create and take home with them. We'll even be sampling some calming foods. There are certain foods that are more calming than others and we'll process that and talk about what, what do we put in our bodies that impact this. That's incredible. Yeah. I bet you a lot of people have not thought about that idea of right. foods, calming foods. Right. Even though we may recognize there are some foods that trigger things, Right. But are, there can be foods that calm things too. Absolutely, absolutely. And we want to make sure that we're really well rounding this day so that women understand it's not just your emotions, it's also your thoughts, it's also mm. what you eat and how you take care of yourself, you know, and things like that. So we really want them to be um, fully equipped by the end of the day. And so a woman who has been dealing with this for a significant period of time, can, <coughs> excuse me, can she believe that one day can be the start to something better? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, the way they will process and what you find is when you take a day away from everything else mm. and you come and you're willing to process something and talk about it and really dive into yourself, you can accomplish a lot in that mm. setting. Um, and it's something that will hopefully trigger everything else to come. And a lot of times we hear a lot of things and we can feel overwhelmed by it in one day, but God often brings those to mind when we need them most. As, as we need them to apply them to our lives. So yes, they will do that. There'll also be, um, we'll talk about further counseling if people need that. You know, if women that are there think, this is great and this is giving me a start, but now maybe I need some further counseling, we'll tell them how to get that. You know, and speaking of counseling, we're almost out of time. A woman who's dealing with this can go to a secular counselor, right. but this is taking place at Lima Community Church. You are a Christian. Where does faith fall into all this kind of thing? Huge, huge. I'm a Christian counselor and so I always integrate faith into my counseling. And there is, there are scripture um, that we're going to use that day that really evidence how God laid out for us how to handle our anxiety in amazing ways. And part of that is even how He's made our bodies, how He's equipped our brains. Um, and we will talk about that all through the day about how He has, He has designed us in such a way that we don't have to live mm. with anxiety and depression taking over. Well, that's powerful words. We don't have to live with anxiety and depression taking over. Important things to remember. <clears throat> I've got a frog in my throat here, but <clears throat> hear me through this frogginess, such an important topic. And I certainly hope that you think about this seminar that's taking place March 12th from nine to four at Lima Community Church's Journey Building. To register, contact Cornerstone of Hope in Lima. The phone number and the email address are right there on the screen, 419-581-9138, or you can email micah.gallagher at cornerstoneofhope.org.